Good morning, Pastor Ray here with The Daily Bread. It is a beautiful day and uh, getting into the Word of God. I'm going to read a nice uh, section this morning. Happy Monday. Hopefully your weekend was great. Uh, we'll be reading verses 16 through 24. And uh, let's see what the Word of God speaks today. And today we're going to deal with, uh, there's some witchcraft, there's some uh, false accusations and all these things. Suffering for God. Amen. And so let's read and see what we can learn. It says this in verse 16. Now it happened as we went to prayer that a certain slave girl possessed with the spirit of divination met us, who brought her masters much profit by fortune telling. This girl followed Paul and us and cried out saying, These men are the servants of the Most High God who proclaim to us the way of salvation. And this she did for many days, but Paul, greatly annoyed, turned and said to the spirit, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And he came out that very hour. But when her masters saw that their hope of profit was gone, they seized Paul and Silas and dragged them into the marketplace to the authorities. And they brought them to the magistrates and said, These men, being Jews, exceedingly trouble our city. And they teach customs which are not lawful for us, being Romans, to receive or observe. Then the multitude rose up together against them, and the magistrates tore off their clothes and commanded them to be beaten with rods. And when they had laid many stripes on them, they threw them into prison, commanding the jailer to keep them securely. Having received such a charge, he put them into the inner prison and fastened their feet in the stocks. All right. So first thing is we know that um, so spirit of divination, uh, witchcraft, right? Forbidden for God's people to partake in. Forbidden. Witchcraft. Any kind. Tarot card readings. Uh, uh, even stay away from horoscopes, things of that nature that, that lead into, uh, you know, being involved with witchcraft, right? And, and so that's something that you're involved with purposefully, right? Um, and so that's something that God is against for his people, right? And so uh, we don't believe in that. We don't do that. We trust God. We believe God for everything. We don't want to know the future. We're not into that. God, we trust you, right? In fact, we know a lot more about the future because of what prophecy tells us and how everything's going to uh, play out. But Christian, amen, is separate from witchcraft and divination. And so this is happening. And, and so she recognizes something. Somehow she recognizes that Paul and them are there from God. And so it's, it's like this advertisement, right? So she's following them and ooh, the servants of the Most High God and all this praise and ooh, they're so wonderful. You know, most people would take that and say, yes, yes, I am. Thank you. See, somebody notices here, right? And that's, uh, Paul is not like that. And I love that because Paul gets annoyed by it. He's like, stop, please. Uh, don't do that. And, he, and he, he recognizes somehow, some way that it's a spirit. He casts it out. And, um, but then trouble comes, right? Trouble comes. He's doing the work of God and he gets in trouble for doing God's work. That's a lesson for us. Cause you know, the modern day thinking is that, hey, if I'm doing God's work, then it should just be all gravy for me. That's, I'm, I'm sorry, but that's not the Bible. That's not the word of God. It's just not how it is. That's not how it plays out in the Bible. Um, it teaches us something different. That there are times when doing the will of God will cost you and it can be painful. And so that's a lesson for us from this scripture. <clears throat> right? Especially when, you know, it interferes with people's business. And so they're upset. They're, the slave girl's masters are upset because that was a money maker. She was a money maker. And uh, man, you know, people's money. They are tied to it, right? That is the goal for most people. It's just money. Money, money, money. More money. More things. More stuff. How can I get more? How can I pile it up? You know, and the Christian is different, right? Because the Christian knows that, you know, uh, you can't take it with you. Do we use it for God's glory? Absolutely. Is there proper ways to uh, make money and use it properly? Absolutely. But money isn't the goal. And so they're rich and this woman gets delivered right they should be happy for her she's delivered but they're not happy they take them and they upset with them falsely accuse them and they give them beatings 
Wow, real beatings, beaten with rods. I don't know what that looked like, you know, but I imagine that they were pretty busted up, you know. They were pretty busted up after this. And not only that, they get thrown into prison. Wow. Ooh, wonderful, wonderful preaching there, Pastor. Good stuff. Man, going to prison for Jesus. You know, but the story that we're going to read tomorrow is so encouraging. Uh, you can go there beforehand if you want to, but there they are. They get thrown into prison and not just jail, you know, like jail here, you know, three mills and working out, cable television, you know, not like that. This is a hole. And then they're put into, their feet are put into stocks, which means that you know, they were put in the deep part, the bad part, you know, and, and can you imagine not being able to go to the restroom? Um, and, and so on and so forth. It's just, it's just a horrible thing that they're put into because they're doing the work of God. You know, and it's like that sometimes. Don't, don't, don't get it in your mind that because you're a Christian and you live for God that you know everything's going to be swell. Listen, there's an enemy who wants to stop you from being coming what you can be in God. I'm telling you that that's the truth this morning. Amen. There's an enemy, but don't fear. Don't be afraid. Un unashamed, unafraid to live for God. Listen, you press through, and God will see that it's made right. That's what we're going to see, and it's powerful, and it's wonderful. Uh, but you see the boldness, you see the courageous, you see the faith, and, and all that is happening here in the book of Acts. Um, all for Jesus, all for Jesus, all for the glory of God. Lives lived to give God glory. It's wonderful. And so, that's all I have for today. Amen. Uh, sometimes there is a bit of suffering, but fear not because God is on the throne. Amen. And so the Lord bless you today in Jesus' name.